Welcome everyone, this is James Riles gonna bring you special ladies and gentlemen a new video today. And today we are going to talk about saving our planet. Ways that we could save or help save our planet and to try to erase some of our carbon footprint. Try to erase some carbon gases, methane gases, our you know, greenhouse gases. Try to eliminate some of that. And we can make a change. Because if you like it or not, there has been great changes with our planet. There has been positive and there has been negative. With this great technology craze and this you know, rise of technology and the power of it has been amazing. Whether it's you know the phones that we have or the farming that we have currently. But also it comes with negatives. From this mass farmings, from you know the oceans to our lands that is having a great effect on our greenhouse gases methane gases that is hurting our our planet so we have to think folks on with this great changes and how it's really affecting climate change because if you don't believe climate change is real then Ah, move on. <laughs> Don't watch this video then. But it's very real, I believe. Now, you can see it from the glaciers all breaking down and sea levels rising. And it's hurting our planet. If we want to really thrive in our planet, we have to make great changes. And I'm going to make, I'm just going to shoot off some ideas and some ways that we could definitely make some great changes and reduce some of our carbon footprint, like I said, and eliminate some of these gases that are affecting our planet. So let, let me name off a few ones. Uh, we could recycle more. Yes, we could recycle more. These are some some easy ones and maybe some complex ones. Also, composting is a great way to eliminate you know garbage going to landfills. We could use that as you know fertilizer for you know crops, trees, things that we want to grow. It's a great fertilizer. Uh, saving water, not taking too long of showers, and join those two-hour showers and hot showers. Try to eliminate some of that. Uh, also, avoiding plastic bottles this is a big one for me, because um, seeing the effects on these companies, these that are producing plastic, and how it affects the communities around them, these plastic plants. And just to think that they put that, they store water in plastic and ship them out in hot trucks. You got to think there's some plastic leaching there and that's going to affect you in a negative way. Putting a foreign object into your body, foreign, you know, forming these chemicals in your body is going to have effect. So eliminate the plastic bottles, which is going to help eliminate, you know, trash being thrown out into our oceans and it's going to help your health <laughs> um, energy saving so if you're not in the room or you are out of the house and you have some lights on in your house maybe turn those off save some energy or maybe when you go out, out and you go out for a long period of time you know turn your thermostat off and don't put your thermostat or ac through such a rigorous task while you're not home um, also you could buy elect electric saving bulbs so you, you could help reduce uh, carbon emissions and help you save some money <laughs> from your electric bill um, use fewer chemicals such as don't promote pesticides being used for foods and crops by organic and don't use so many chemicals uh, for your body or cleaning things because or cleaning like your toilet or your tub and so so on and so forth because those chemicals are going to be recycled back into our water system some way somehow because it has to because you put it down the toilet you flush it down the toilet or you clean your tub those pesticides or those chemicals are going to go somewhere whether it's you know putting into your lawn through your sprinkler system or putting back into drinking water through our faucets um, Drive more, <laughs> just kidding, drive less and fly less. Eliminate those, uh, your carbon footprint 
by eliminating those fossil fuels being used for gasoline. Walk more, ride your bike more, don't ride as much, carpool more. Try to eliminate those vehicles from the road. Also buy local foods. Uh, if you got a farmer's market in your area, please endorse those. Buy from there because you are eliminating the transportation and those gases being used to transport, you know, foods from farms from far away or from overseas. So you get those bananas usually from Mexico or Colombia or something like that. Buy local. Your, your carbon footprint's definitely going to help you and the emissions are definitely going to lessen if you do buy local. Um, we have to definitely use the sun, that, that great star that is overhead that heats us up. Use it as energy. More and more people I know are putting solar panels on top of their roofs so they can eliminate using, you know, uh, fossil fuels as energy and using the sun as energy. That's great. And I know more and more as the years go on, the technology is going to grow and it's going to make these things more cheap and reliable and accessible to many more people. Uh, plant more trees. If you guys don't know, trees are the lungs of earth. So growing more trees and not cutting down them, cutting them down as much as we do just to grow crops and just grow buildings and grow businesses. We need more trees and we need more lungs to get all the CO2 and you know, filter it out. We need these lungs so we could breathe. We need Earth's lungs so we could definitely thrive and live and breathe in a great way. Also, Last but definitely not least, the top one on my list is definitely go vegan. By going vegan, you are eliminating all these methane gases. That is way worse than any, you know, carbon fossil fuels that is today. This farming of animals and slaughter of all these animals and all this waste that these animals give so you could have some meat on your plates is affecting us. This methane is terrible for us and is hurting us. So please go more plant-based if you can't go full, full vegan. Stop eating so much meat. Stop buying so much meat. Help our planet. If you want to make a change, they have to be somewhat drastic because these drastic changes are happening to our planet if we want a planet to live on and thrive on great changes have to be made and some drastic ones have to be made as well this has been james rise with just a brief way that we could help save our planet help us thrive in the years to come and not be in such a hellish place if we don't we have to make the change because we have caused all this damage. This has been James Rise with another video, guys, for you today. Hopefully, you liked it. Stay risen, stay rising. Let's help one another and let's help our planet. Till next time.